The EVGA X99 motherboard lineup has arrived. EVGA has three models based off the Intel X99 chipset, a micro, an FTW, and a classified model. Let's first start with the X99 micro motherboard. It's of course a micro ATX form factor, so it's a bit smaller, but it still supports SLI. In fact, it technically can support up to three SLI, but most people will be running it into SLI mode. This platform also has four DDR4 memory slots that support memory speeds of 3000 MHz and beyond. If we take a look at the SATA section here, we have six SATA 6G ports. All of these are native to the chipset. And also we have here one, two, three, four native USB 3.0 ports and another two USB 3.0 ports on a header here. So a total of six native USB 3.0 ports. You also find that this motherboard has an M.2 port right in between both of the PCI Express slots. Taking a look up here, we have power, reset, and clear CMOS directly on the board. And we even have a debug LED that shows you your CPU temperature while you are in Windows. So pretty handy there. So now let's take a look at the FTW model. This is the X99 FTW. It is a step above the X99 Micro. Of course, it is larger. It is an EATX format. It does support four-way SLI, so that is done natively without the need of any external chipsets or bridge chips. You also have a 4X PCI Express slot there as well. You also have a few more DIMM slots here, a total of eight DIMMs supporting up to 128 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. Taking a look at the side here, we have power, reset, clear CMOS. We also have the debug LED, just like on the micro board. We have a 24 pin right angled connector here. It gives it a nice clean look when it's inside your chassis. And actually we have a couple of right angled fan headers as well, which do serve a very similar purpose and a right angled USB 3.0 connector as well. Now let's take a look at the X99 classified motherboard. This is the flagship offering from EVGA. On this board again, we have the eight DIMM support supporting 128 gigabytes of memory total. This motherboard has an upgraded VRM, 10 phase digital, it also has two auxiliary 8 pin CPU power inputs for up to 600 watts of power. Again the power reset, clear CMOS. We have three BIOSes on this motherboard so you can switch between each one of them with this little switch here, a right angled 24 pin power connector and a total of 10 SATA 6G ports. On this motherboard, you will actually find two different M.2 ports, both supporting different types of M.2 devices. For the I.O. on this motherboard, we have a total of six USB 2.0 ports plus a clear CMOS. We have four USB 3.0 ports plus another two on a header. We have dual Intel Gigabit Ethernet and we actually have creative Core 3D audio on this motherboard. All of these motherboards ship with EVGA's new GUI BIOS. This BIOS allows you to overclock and monitor your system vitals. You can see up here it shows you your memory, your CPU voltages, memory voltages, PCI Express slots, various temperatures, and you can see I'm running a 33x multiplier with a B clock of 100 MHz. Overclocking on the X99 platform is very easy. You can just do it in just a couple of steps by simply changing your CPU multiplier and adjusting your CPU voltage if you need to. EVJ does allow you to select an adaptive or override mode for your voltage. So for example, we'll set an adaptive with a 250 millivolt offset. Of course, you can also set an override setting, which sets a more absolute voltage value. For those of you who like to tweak your memory, there's a lot of options for this. So just head over to the memory section in the BIOS and you can enable XMP or set a manual frequency if you like. There is uh, quite a few different frequency selections here. And of course, EVGA gives you a lot of memory timings to play with if you like. And there you have it, the EVGA X99 motherboard lineup. For more information on these products, please visit the EVGA website at www.evga.com or be a part of our community at forums.evga.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.